Welcome back to Trader UK. Adam here. Today I have one for all the crypto traders, crypto investors, crypto users as well. Just about anybody who might have made some money from cryptocurrencies recently. I wouldn't say it's something that you need to be worried about, but definitely something that you should be aware of if you are holding cryptocurrencies. Last week, HMRC announced that they will be targeting crypto holders with what they call nudge letters that will remind them of their responsibilities to report crypto gains to HMRC. Now, if you want to know if you are likely to receive one of these letters and what it actually means, then stick around, stay with me whilst I translate and decode this update from HMRC. Now, a few months ago, I started to see these types of articles. This isn't the only one, but this is a good example. And they suggested HMRC had lent on a number of different crypto exchanges and requested a list of UK clients who had holdings in crypto. Now, I assumed at the time that this would be targeting big fish, big high level tax evasion. And generally, it would target people who had you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds or maybe millions of pounds worth of cryptocurrencies. It turns out, though, that HMRC obtained details of any Coinbase account holders who had more than £5,000 in crypto assets or, or cryptocurrencies uh, during the 1920 tax year. And that includes purchases that you made of crypto, but also cryptocurrencies that were transferred onto the platform. It is interesting, though, that Coinbase said HMRC were originally asking for information on every single UK client. And they originally were dating it back as far as 2017. But they negotiated and they ended up settling on that £5,000 figure, £5,000 or above. Um, and that was the information that got sent across to HMRC. Supposedly, that only represents about 3% of Coinbase account holders. So if you are on Coinbase and you had an account balance of £5,000 or over, then chances are that information or your information has been sent across to HMRC already. What I find really interesting about that is the fact that Coinbase had to kind of come back with a counter offer. They had to negotiate with HMRC uh, and it was later agreed that they would settle on 3% on or so of clients. Now, of course, Coinbase are not the only crypto exchange or crypto platform that people use from the UK. And it actually says in this article that they also requested information from eToro UK, who I have used in the past, and CEX.io, who I don't actually know who that is, but also any other platforms that they might have made a request to. Now, the question is, when they originally made that request... Did those other platforms like eToro hand over the information that was requested, like most platforms usually would, or did they kick back? Did they negotiate and make a counter offer? What you have to remember is at that point, eToro and these other platforms wouldn't have known that Coinbase had made a counter offer that had kicked back and offered an alternative. So I think it's highly likely that some of these platforms, not necessarily all of them, would have handed over the information that was originally requested without putting up much of a fight, which means they would have given details of any UK account holders that held crypto as far back as 2017. So clearly, it's safe to assume that if your only holding is on Coinbase and you have held less than £5,000 in your account, then probably HMRC don't have any information on you because it sounds like Coinbase didn't hand that over. But if you have been holding crypto anywhere else, then there's a chance, I'm not saying definitely, but there is a chance that your information has already been provided to HMRC. So if you were using eToro UK like I was, then your information could have been handed over already, irrelevant of how much you were holding in the account. And to be honest, I wouldn't be worrying too much about this, whether they have your information or not, because we're likely to find out in the next couple of weeks. Um, this article from last week in the Financial Times says, 
that nudge letters will be issued to crypto holders that HMRC have information on already uh, as a nudge to get their tax affairs in order. Now, it says here, HMRC told Crypto UK it was taking an educational approach in issuing the letters. It added its aim was to highlight areas people may not be aware of when considering if they have to pay any tax. If you receive a nudge letter, it does not necessarily mean that you have made an error on your tax return, but you need to ensure that you respond correctly to HMRC. So if you do end up receiving one of these letters in the next few weeks, I think for most people, it's not going to be anything to worry about if you have a smaller sort of crypto holding. Uh, it's likely just to remind you of the rules surrounding cryptocurrencies and that it falls under capital gains tax a lot of the time, but not always. Um, and it's probably going to point out your allowances, your capital gains allowance, £12,300 currently. Uh, just remind you, you shouldn't be exceeding that. And if you do, you'll need to report it. But I imagine what it's going to point out is when a crypto gain occurs. It's going to remind people that it's not just when you transfer your cryptocurrency, your Bitcoin, for example, back to a fiat currency. That's not the only time that a crypto gain occurs. It's also when you transfer your Bitcoin to Ethereum, a gain can occur there. If you transfer or make a payment using Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, then a gain can occur there. So I think Yes, for most smaller holdings, it's not going to be anything to to worry about. Um, but more than anything, I would say this here is HMRC flexing their muscles. It's reminding people that even if you're thinking about keeping your gains quiet and you're thinking that because it's cryptocurrency, there's no way of HMRC knowing about it. It's just HMRC letting people know that we can go and obtain this information anyway. We don't necessarily need it from you. We know a lot more than you think. From reading this, though, it does seem like it's going to require a response. Now, we don't know exactly what that will be yet, but most likely some kind of declaration to say that you have received the information, you understand your allowances that apply, um, and you haven't exceeded any of your thresholds in those tax years. So if that is the case, and it does require a response, then people need to be really careful and make sure they respond. Most likely, if you don't respond, you'll be looking at an investigation that's going to uh, trigger a response from HMRC. And in general, if there's one thing that HMRC dislike almost as much as tax evasion, it's a late filing or late response to a request. So make sure you are sending a response if one is asked. If you are somebody who has more substantial gains, maybe you've exceeded your capital gains allowance already, and you are thinking to just keep that quiet, then if it were me, I would be treating this more like a final warning from HMRC. Um, I don't think they're bluffing here. It sounds like this was their plan all along. And it sounds like they've definitely collected a lot of information, more than we were thinking originally over the last few years. Anyway, that is just one to make you aware of in case you do receive a nudge letter from HMRC in the coming weeks. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Have you already had any correspondence with HMRC regarding crypto gains? That is all for today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.